Going into any project, you're always chasing those images you have in your head that meet the creative, but then also trying to get them in camera with all the restrictions that you're no doubt going to encounter. This was a shoot for the Dodge Ram, a handful of trucks across maybe a dozen locations over five days. So we made a conscious choice to keep the crew as small as possible, and I think total crew on our biggest day was like seven people. Even with the overall smaller production size and budget, I felt that we didn't have to compromise the overall image quality. And a big part of that is these sort of new tools that we have around us now as, as filmmakers. And I think Atlas is a real example of that, sort of making something that would have otherwise, in this case, been out of reach, very much accessible to us. The goal was to capture the trucks within the wide expanse of these locations and being surrounded by mountains on all horizons to make sure we capture the width and the sort of massive footprint of these ranges. So shooting anamorphic was an intention early on with the unique way that they can capture the width of an environment like that. There is a difference between cropping uh, and shooting the actual lenses. There's a, there's a feel to them that uh, you can't really accomplish when you uh, shoot spherical and crop. It's not the first time I've shot without the lenses, and I think I keep coming back to them because there is a certain sort of organic humanity to them which definitely uh, retains a lot of the characteristics of traditional anamorphic. I think they're sharp when they need to be sharp, and they have this personality that you can easily turn up the volume on as and when you need to. The images are beautiful. It's, we're very, very happy. I, I, this is the very first time I've shot uh, with an Atlas anamorphic lens, and the, the lenses have a, you know, that, that you know, there's no, there's only one word for cinematic, you know, this cinematic feel to them, and we strive to copy that or to catch that, you know, with other lenses and other cameras, and and in this case, you know, it was, it was very easy. What you see is what you get. I think the shoot serves as an example of what you can go out and realistically create without going over certain budgets and not needing to take sort of massive amounts of gear. You can keep it simple, you can keep it lightweight, and you can still hit a certain visual quality. In this case, I think the Atlas lenses were a key part in allowing us to go and do that. Having the ability to have these tools available to us and it not be an extra discussion about finances uh, is always helpful. I think Atlas is very much making anamorphic accessible in a way which was previously out of reach for many types of shoot. And in addition to a lot of other gear that's now available, we don't really have too much to complain about as filmmakers these days. We have a lot of freedoms and choices that previous generations of filmmakers just didn't have. So I think it's a really nice time to be creating images.